Welcome to race number 30 of the Mountain Dew Voltage Cup Series. This is chase race number 2. That means you guys will be seeing some point standings after today's race. But to the present, on the pole in her Burger King Chevrolet is Cindy Vieira. Starting second is Scott, is Scott Greeny. Starting third is Chase is the first chaser. That is Zachary Rogers. And starting fourth is Michael Jenkins. As we will watch the cars roll off, remembering that the 98 of Gene Robidoux is in this race. It is his debut, and he is going to be hoping for a good race. Let's see if we can find him going by here. There he is up top. There he's a bit in the middle back of the field. I was saying here he is. He is all the way back here. But let's go back up to the 97 of Cindy Vieira. 49 laps of racing. Three pit stops. Will there be any cautions? Green flag is out. We are underway at Vermont. Inside line works well when you got draft help. Zachary Rogers getting help from teammate Jim Morton. Who is there in his Cleveland Browns, number 23. Micah Kidney also on the inside line. Here's where the outside line starts to get a bit of a run. As Scott Greeny is looking for the lead. As somehow the 9, oh nope, the 48 did lead lap 1. Seems the inside line is a little even with them. Going through turns 1 and 2, but then the outside line prevails in 3 and 4. Cindy Vieira looking low again. Now Franklin Ayers made that change to the 78. He did top 10 in last race at Canadian Tire, and he's doing pretty good right now. Looking for third. Will he clear third? No, not yet. But Scott Greeny leads it with Michael Jenkins in second. Caution flag is out. Here is what it is for here on lap 5. Amy Medeiros is going to get into defending champ Michael Amato, and she's going to spin him up. Oh, right into Gene Robidu. And the 81 gets caught on the wall and flips up. But the wreck's not over. The 24 is spinning. There's Gene Robidu. Do these guys get away free here? Yeah, I think they do. I think that's it. If everybody else gets away, fine. But Gene Robidu's day. And his debut is already done. And as they're coming down, oh, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, yep, they're piling it in. Oh, Philip Jengali. Oh, that's just dumb, guys. You can't even keep it clean coming to the freaking... Oh, my gosh. Really? Back green. Not many cars left in the race now. As I'm waiting for an official roll here. Cars out of the race. Nathan Rogers, Ryan Shea, a chaser there. Another chaser, Austin Ellis. Chaser, Daniel Carnero. Peggy Bowling, Benjamin Dion. Allison Rogers. Gene Robidu making his debut. And Amy Medeiros. Now Zachary Rogers taking the race lead. And he had to hold up because of Sam York. Do we have another caution? I think we do. We have another caution. Oh, this time they kept it together pretty good. What is the cause of the caution? Uh, we're going to find out here in a second. Here it is. Coming off of turn four. But up here now. The 30... Is going to get into Brenda Harala. Spins out the 42. And then the 30 gets into the 71 and the 29. And they're just going to spin it out here on the front stretch. Oh, and Tony Vieira gets into James Francis. And they're still wrecking here. Oh, watch out, Michael Amato. Mono floors on the brakes on that one. 
going back green. Nobody out of the race after that one. Zachary Rogers is your race leader. We have 25 cars on the lead lap. And Sam York got back on the lead lap, I believe. Yes, he did. Zachary Rogers currently leads the field over Michael Jenkins. Four wide, not good. Sam York, you just got that lap back. Do you really want to be going four wide? Three chasers in the mix here. Peyton Goodwin, Brenda Harala, and Samuel York. Zachary Rogers trying to get his second win of the season here at Vermont. Bit of a hometown track. It's close to his hometown state. But Michael Jenkins is looking for his first career Voltage Cup Series win here. And he definitely has the car to do it. He has the second fastest lap time. Franklin there is with the fastest. And I think maybe we can maybe settle into some green flag racing now. But for the time being, oh, here comes Michael Jenkins. Michael Jenkins looking for the race lead. But, you know, turn three and four is not the turns to strike on. As Zachary Rogers will continue leading for the time being. On lap 23 here, Michael Jenkins has taken the race lead. Scott Greeny in third. Peter Sands in fourth. Peter Sands is looking for his first career Voltage Cup Series win. Could he do it here today at Vermont? As the slow cars have been separating mostly. And Franklin Ayers is coming in the pit. Is he the only one? I think Franklin Ayers is the only one coming in the pit right now. But it seems pit stops are on the verge. As now Scott Greeny is looking for second. One of the best drivers that did not make the chase. He has won two races this season. He won Rockingham and he won Bristol. The day race for Bristol. As nobody's pitting this time, maybe a little strategy on the 78 car's part. Look who's up here having a good day. Jim Morton running in the 6th place. He is having a good day. Now 3 wide, Peter Sands going from 4th to 2nd. Zachary Rogers doing the opposite. And here they come to pit road. Scott Greeny is going to stay out. Cindy Vieira staying out. Carol Fletcher staying out. Here we go. Here comes a lot of people. Almost everybody coming into pit road here. Franklin Ayers had already made his stop. Adam Rogers stayed out, as did Samuel York. Michael Parker first out of the group of his that pit. Now here comes everybody else. Here comes the 48, the 97, 31, 32 staying out. An extra lap he might have already pit. Now Franklin Harris is the current leader of the group here. Michael Jenkins was the race leader. Here we go. Coming off pit road. Michael Jenkins and Peter Sands leading themselves off. Then the 9 and the 3. And Jim Morton, there's Franklin Ayers. And Sheila Sullivan has some front end damage. Franklin Ayers is up to third. As Michael Jenkins still leads with Peter Sins behind in second. As we think, because here comes Scott Greeny out now. Along with Cindy Vieira and Carol Fletcher. And no, he's not going to be enough. Michael Jenkins first, Peter Sands second, third will be Franklin Ayers. And actually, I'm sorry, Sheila Sullivan's a lap down. So fourth is Scott Greeny and fifth getting pressure from sixth. Zachary Rogers and Michael Parker, two chasers here. But Michael Jenkins is currently your race leader. Here on lap 39, getting closer to more pit stops. Michael Jenkins and 
Peter Sands on your top two. There's Scott Greeny. Yes, yes, we've got a lot of cars that have uh, the si been deciding the pit. Frank Linares has already made his pit stop. With coming to 10 laps to go, these will be the key stops. As Scott Greeny is doing his staying out this lap. Here comes 77 in the 12, 3 to 9 to 6. Anybody else on the lead lap staying out? John Linares is going to stay out of lap here. Sidney Vieira has lost a bit of ground. Frank Linares is the leading car of the cars at a pit, then Paul Sardinia. Here is Scott Greeny. No, here comes Michael Amato coming in the pits. Here comes Scott Greeny. And I think John Linares ran out of gas. Yep, John Linares has run out of gas. There goes Frank Linares. Then Jim Morton coming out of the pits. Michael Naylor. Here comes Michael Jenkins, Peter Sands. They are both on top of each other here. Fastest lap still belongs to Franklin Ayers. Here comes Franklin Ayers. Can he take it to the lead? Outside of Peter Sands, Franklin Ayers looking for his first career Cup Series victory, and he is all over the back at the 77. Coming to nine to go, Michael Jenkins and Franklin Ayers are your top two. But you gotta remember the seventy eight pit earlier, he is not on the same tires as the seventy seven. And there is Scott Greeny to fourth and maybe deeper. As yep, you can see that the seventy eight is not on as good as tires as the seventy seven. Good to go. Michael Jenkins still in the lead, encountering some lap traffic. Second is now Scott Greeny. Third, Peter Sands. Fourth, Jim Morton. Fifth, first chaser, Zachary Rogers. Then sixth is the next chaser, Michael Parker. Seventh is Franklin Ayers getting pressure from Michael Naylor in eighth. Kate Rogers doing a good job here in ninth. And then Steve Cavallo, your next chaser, is tenth. He who won back a Canadian tire. White flag in the air. Michael Jenkins is on the verge of his first career Voltage Cup Series victory. He who driving at a Dodge Motorsports, a two-car team. They have not won a race yet this season. That is going to change. Coming out of turn four. Michael Jenkins gets his first career victory here at Vermont. And he is also the first non-chase driver to win a race for this chase. Anyway, we will see you next time. It's getting a bit crazy now. As everybody's schedule did not line up right, everybody is going to different places. And then switching out on the weekend. So we will see you guys next time.